Hi, welcome to Academic Writing. I am Lee Hall, Associate Professor of Literacy Studies at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. If you have a question or topic that you would like to see me address on this series, you can email me, leahall39 at gmail.com, and also check me out online, leahall.wordpress.com, where I talk about issues of teaching in higher education. Today, I am going to be talking to you about making the case for not writing. Yeah, you heard me. Um, so what I normally talk about and write about is the importance of writing and how to set up a schedule, structure your time to get your writing done. But part of knowing when to write is also knowing when not to write. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So I am a huge advocate of making time to not write. And there are reasons for this. Um, first of all, when we take breaks, all right, and we need them, you are giving yourself permission to not work on other things. So it's really, it's really easy, right? Um, if we think about our writing to get hung up on, oh, I need to be writing, I need to be writing. So there are other things that you need to attend to in your career, in your job that maybe aren't getting the attention that they need because writing is always in the back of your mind. And then of course, on the flip side, your writing might not be getting attended to because it's easy to think, oh, I need to work on on certain things for my, um, you know, for my class or I'm on a committee and I need to get some work done so I can't take care of my writing, right? It can go either way. So by writing a schedule and creating out a plan, what we're thinking about is not just when we're going to write, because if we say we're going to write from 8 to 10 a.m. in the morning, then that's when our writing occurs and we know we can let it go for the rest of the day, Right. We give ourselves permission to work on other things because the writing and the need to do it, it's pretty much always going to be there. So when you bound it, you also, you give yourself a little bit of freedom, right? When that time's up, you have to be able to step away from it to say, I'm not writing for the rest of this day, right? My writing occurred from eight to 10. It's 10.01. I'm done for the day. I'm walking away. I got other things I got to take care of, all right? Other stuff I have to do. But in addition to getting that other stuff done, you're also giving your brain a break. So what I find is that even though I'm not writing, right, it's not my official writing time, sometimes when I'm reading things or working on other things that have nothing to do, at least on the surface, um, about something that I'm writing, all of a sudden an issue that I had with my paper clicks into place, right? Or you're walking around, you're going for a walk, you're relaxed, and all of a sudden, bam, you've got a great idea for how to structure your paper You've got a really great organizational scheme that, you know, you've been struggling with, all of a sudden problem solved. So give yourself a break. Your brain will keep working on a lot of these issues. Um, and as a result, your writing is going to get better, okay? But of course, I'm still going to recommend that you schedule this not writing time, right? Um, because you want to make sure you get your writing done. You want to make sure you get everything else that you need to get done. So lay out a plan for it, Okay. But there's some things to think about. So on a like a daily, a weekly or a daily plan, you're going to look at your schedule and you're going to think about when do I teach classes or have any meetings I'm attending. Um, you're going to mark those things out. Those spaces are you got some non-negotiables going on where your time is taken up. You have to plan for your classes, etc. So mark all that out. Figure out okay how much time do I need to spend writing this week and where is it going to occur? All right, and you plug that in. But you also might find that it's helpful to you to, it's helpful for you to not write every day during the week. Like I only want to write three to four days a week. Okay. But I typically write about 12 to 15 hours a week. That's how I like to do it. Spread out over three to four days. Um, I don't recommend you write seven days a week. I don't even recommend you write six days a week. I recommend that you write four Maybe five days a week. It's going to depend on your context and how much time you have. You need to give yourself breaks. So think about within the context of a week, what are the days when I'm going to write? What are the days when I'm not going to write? Okay. And mark that out. Consider taking an entire day off each week, right? But when I say take an entire day off each week, I mean a work week. I mean a five-day week. All right. I would advise you to not write five days a week. Um, the other things to think about in terms of making time not to write are a little bit bigger so when I have finished a draft of a piece or if I've been working on something for a really long time and I just feel really burned out, I might take a week off. Just flat out, I'm not writing anything. I'm not working on anything new. I'm not making revisions to anything. I'm just not writing this week. And when I take that space away from it, it helps me actually, you know, come back to the piece, refreshed, ready to tackle it. I, sometimes you need a break. Maybe it's just a few days. 
I don't recommend more than a week. Sometimes I will take a week off. But again, that's scheduled, right? I have told myself this week, I am taking the entire week off from this piece because I'm just flat out burned out. I'm going crazy or the draft is done and I need, I need to step back from it and come back with some fresh eyes. So it's scheduled. It's still scheduled. I know when I'm stopping. I know why I'm stopping and I know when I'm picking it back up again. I also found that it's helpful to take a break between pieces. So um, I finish a piece. I might already know what I'm going to start doing next, but I'll take one or even two weeks off between pieces just to give my brain a break, just, you know, catch up on some other stuff, do some things that I've always wanted to do with my work that I just haven't gotten around to yet, right? Clean the office, something, right? Catch up a little bit. So make time not to write, but don't, don't do it willy nilly. Be mindful about it. Think about why you're doing it, where you're doing it and when you're doing it. And I think you'll find it will actually make you a lot more productive.